Good morning, welcome to the International Pool and Spa Show here we're at APSP University. Here's just a quick sample of what we're teaching. What you see here is a display with on the left is inch and a half pipe, on the right is two and a half inch pipe, both sides equal. Right now the two and a half inch side is operating at 30 gallons a minute and 12 TDH and you can see the fountain is working great and it's only using about 120 watts. I'm going to go switch it to inch and a half pipe and let's see what happens. As you can see, our waterfall is no, arc, no longer working as intended. It's a variable speed pump. The speed did not change. The flow rate dropped to 20 gallons a minute, and now our water feature is not working just because of pipe size change. So small pipe it causes lots of restrictions. Now we have a variable speed pump, so I'm going to ramp it up to fix this. went from 1200 RPM to 1700 RPM to make this work. The watts dropped, jumped from 103 to 285. So that small pipe, every time you're running it, costs two and a half times more than buying the proper size pipe for two and a half inch in this case. So as I like to say, the most expensive thing being sold on this show floor is small pipe. Cheap to buy, expensive to own. Right sizing your pool piping is the most important thing you can do for the long-term success of any pool or spa project. Thanks for attending.